I've always accepted for a while that we live in a deterministic world, and that is because of my origins of raising myself in physics. There is no reason, right now at least, for us to believe that what goes on inside the bone here, the bony shell around the skull, is any different than what goes on for the next million miles that way, that way, that way, every way. I've always accepted that, but I never felt it. Never reached a higher understanding that I didn't know was possible. Now, this guy named Leibet was a German researcher. He rigged up people to some machines, and uh, he, what he did was he asked them to do a simple action, such as, you know, moving their finger up and down. He recorded them when they were moving their finger up and down, and, you know, did control, of course. And uh, he measured the time at which the signal was sent to the finger to move up, and he measured the time at which the consciousness was aware that the finger was going to move up. And what he found was a approximately 300 millisecond time difference. Because the signal that was sent to the finger was sent before consciousness knew that the finger was to move up. The brain the, the non-conscious acted on its own volition and it moved that finger up before consciousness knew about it. Which means there was no free will in moving that finger up. At least not free will as we know it. At least not free will as consciousness, your conscious mind is choosing to move that finger up as you think you please. Now for me, I never heard of that study before and uh, it's a real study it's been replicated it's scientifically sound in every way as far as I know and it was pretty epic for me to think of the implications of that because it's scientific proof not only that there's a lack of proof for the pro but this is proof for the con regarding free will and with this experiment what I think of is can you have ethics in the first place? There's so many things. But that's not the main thing, because right now this is a personal issue. Now what I did after I read that on the internet was I went up to the stairs to go get my book Consciousness Explained by Daniel Dennett, which had a myriad more information and was actually more understandable than anything I could find on the internet. And as I was going up the stairs, I noticed that I did not choose to go up the stairs. I did not know why I was going up the stairs. This is something I, I noticed. I was moving up the stairs, walking up as I always do, and I don't know why I'm doing it. I never decided to go do it. I get up to my room. The room's dark. I turn on the light. I notice, as I'm doing all this stuff, that that did not register in my conscious mind that to turn on the light, I just did it. It was automatic, like I was a machine. And then I go down to the suitcase I got in the closet full of books, and I open it up, start looking through the books. And I'm like, oh, that's why I turn on the light. Because it was dark, and if I was looking for a book, I couldn't find the book, because it was dark and I can't see in the dark. So I get the book, and I got the book. And I walk down back I walk back down the stairs and it's automatic. It's automatic. It's a machine. Now I'll tell you, but I don't know if you'll understand it. But since that moment in time I don't know if you'll believe this. But since that time yesterday in the afternoon evening I have been watching myself 
do things automatically since it's as if I'm a what is it a third eye an outside observer as I would normally call it you know physics as if you know you were a third person that's not involved in the scene at all for instance this this hand I don't I uh, I'm not consciously controlling it which is uh, co corroborates with his data that you don't consciously control anything now uh, my consciousness can uh, now I know like in a normal person I think consciousness is something that's there that justifies why you do things because your unconscious is actually doing it because when I was going up the stairs I didn't know why I was going upstairs when I turned on the light I didn't know why I turned on the light but after I noticed that I was going upstairs after I noticed I turned on the light after I noticed I found the book then my conscious mind justified found reason for why I did that now I've always believed and accepted that we live in a deterministic world where things move like clockwork but again I've never felt it now now I'm very confused as a person because I'm a, I'm I'm acting as a as a what is it a normal person would as a normal conscious person would even though I'm kind of sure now that those people out there they're not conscious but that's not exactly true and this happened directly after the onset of reading that article when I noticed I had the opportunity to know what I was looking for now something I would say is uh, the blind see what they want to see. If you're out looking for something, there's a higher likelihood that you're going to see it. However, I was not looking for it. I just noticed it. Of course, we know the idea had been planted in my mind. No, it definitely hadn't. There was no way I could have understood or thought this. I'm basically a mix between lost and confused, at a loss for words, depressed maybe, disturbed. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. Is that that may be where the being disturbed comes from? Because me, I'm used to knowing what's going on. I mean, the kind of thing like if you don't have control over you don't have power over your own body or your own mind what do you have power over if you can't trust yourself who can you trust if you're if you if you're trusting somebody else more than you trust yourself you're in a pickle you're not to use a phrase i guess you're not in a good shape Okay, I said before that I'm acting no different than a normal person would, and I'm not. Because this is, this, I'm, because I, it's, what was I thinking? I, I did have something to say. Because I'm just trying to figure this out. I'm I don't know if this is the most boring video ever or not. And I think I'm going to post it. 